last year. <laughs> so we make it rain. Uh -huh. Here, come here. <coughs> so, um, my uh, design idea was um, kind of inspired by Massachusetts because I'm from California. And so it's kind of weird. I mean, this is, I'm, I'm a sophomore. I've been here for a while and I should be used to it, but I'm still not used to like the sudden weather changes and weird snow and all this stuff. Um, so, crap. Um, so I wanted to make a raincoat that would uh, like warn you when it was um, started, when it was starting to rain. So like I was thinking like if you were um, biking back from Wellesley or from the store or something and um, you have your like windbreaker on or whatever and um, you sort of like, you know, when you just feel like one or two drops and you're like, it, it's not raining and then it starts pouring. And so um, I made this raincoat that when, um, it, when it gets wet, I at first, I initially wanted it to make thunderstorm noises, like when you're in the grocery store, the produce section, before it like missed the produce, mm -hmm. it makes those thunderstorm noises. Um, but I uh, quickly gave up on that and just settled for a really annoying alarm. Um, and then also I was thinking, you know, if you're like out and it's like starts to get really overcast and stuff, then your visibility is way down. And so I wanted it to light up when it got dark so that you'd be visible to like traffic and stuff like that. So, um, yeah. Okay. So I'll do crap. <laughs> Everything's coming apart. Um, I'll demonstrate the water sensor first because it makes a really loud and annoying noise, and that's not the last. That, I don't want that to be the last thing you all remember about this project. Good choice. Uh, if I can get this to. So um, this is the water sensor I have, and it's um, basically two just like pieces of metal on here, and they're not connected. And so when they are connected, um, my computer's uh, um, when they when they are connected, it I have a piece of speaker, and it all it's supposed to go in the pocket, but I'm still attached to my computer, so it's kind of bit sketchy still and uh, I would definitely like to refine this design a little bit more. <laughs> uh, it'll work momentarily, hopefully. Um, and I also want to thank Ian a bunch because uh, he helped me along on this and so did Molly. They're both been very valuable resources. Sorry. Take your time. It doesn't rain on demand. <laughs> what happens, um, I'm simulating my finger would be like a raindrop and connecting um, the wire so it makes this really loud and only beeping noise if it gets wet and so that I guess would be your cue to start biking faster and get back to Olin. <laughs> and um, then I also have a light sensor on here. Um, so when, um, when it gets dark, it lights up, hmm. um, and I have four LEDs on the straight on each sleeve, and I used um, conductive thread. And I, when I was using it, I didn't really realize how resistive it was. So that other sleeve is a lot darker than this sleeve, and I probably would have. Uh, Maybe it would turn off the light a little bit. Oh yeah, can somebody? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, 
yeah, I use um, hand stitching to attach all the LEDs and um, the uh, conductive thread. And I also used uh, machine sewing because I was originally going to make the whole, the whole jacket, um, but then my mom gave me this one and it was not sewn together, it was just like melted together kind of because it was plastic. And so I used my machine to go over a lot of the seams and basically, I, I basically sewed the whole thing. On the, like mostly on the armholes because they were really coming apart. So, yeah, that's that. Now you won't get run over in the rain. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs>